الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما دي سويت إسلامي برادرز and views of social media. Let's recite through them salam upon the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Nabiyallah. وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله. Excellence of reciting the Rudan Salam, the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our hearts and mind, the most generous and kind, صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم has said, Indeed, he who recites the Rud upon me the most. Will be closest to me on the day of judgment. Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah, today's Jumu'ah, we will be discussing the topic regarding the fast of Sha'ban. And then we're approaching the 15th night of Shabi Barat. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal, on page 821 of Fazani Sunnat, we will listen. To some hadith of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Describing the importance of Sha'ban. The Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, the owner of Jannah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said. Sha'ban is my month. Sha'ban is the month of mine. And Ramadan is the month of Allah. Azza wa Jal. Blessings of Sha'ban. The Arabic word Sha'ban contains five letters. Sheen, Ayn, Ba, Alif, and Noon. The Sheen stands for, for Sharaf, nobility. The Ayn for Alu, upliftment. And then the ba for bir, meaning piety. And the alif, the alif for ulfat, admiration. And the nur is for nur, light. These are the gifts of Allah Azza wa Jal to his servants in this month. It is the month in which the doors of good deeds are open. Blessings are sent down. Faults are forgiven. Sins are expiated. And Salat and Salat and Durood is reciting a huge number upon the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi wa Alihi wa Sallam. In Madri Muzakra, Mir Ahl Sunnah, Damat Barakatu Mu'aliya has given a figure, 700 Durood a park, inshallah, make the intention. This is the Pegam of Mir Ahl Sunnah, Damat Barakatu Mu'aliya. Please recite at least minimum 700 times Durood a park in the month of Shaiban. Sayyidina Anis bin Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has stated when the blessed companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhu saw the crescents of Shaiban, they would busy themselves in reciting the glorious Quran and they would pay zakat so that the weak and the poor may also make preparations for the fasting of the month of Ramadan. The governors would summon the prisoners to enforce sentence to those who were to be sentenced by Sharia. And set free, meaning the rest free, business would pay the debts and collect the dues. In this way, they would become free for worship before the appearance of the moon of Ramadan. And as soon the moon of Ramadan appeared, they would perform ghusl and some would take part in ittika for the whole month. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. The Muslims of earlier times loved worshipping, but today's Muslims are generally interested in accumulating wealth. They possessed money mindsets and worshipped Allah Azza wa Jal in abundance. 
in the sacred months and strived to gain the nearness and closeness of Allah Azza wa Jal. But unfortunately, today's Muslims often plan how to earn the despicable wealth of this world in the blessed month, especially in Ramadan. Having mercy on the people, Allah Azza wa Jal increases the reward, but on the contrary, the unfortunate people increase the prices on the items in the blessed month of Ramadan, causing trouble for their own Muslim brothers. The Prophet of mankind and the peace of our hearts and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, after Ramadan, the best fasts for honoring Ramadan are the fasts of Sha'ban. Sallu alil Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidatuna Aisha Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha has narrated that the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would keep fast throughout Sha'ban. She radiallahu ta'ala anha once asked, Ya Rasulullah, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, do you like fasting in Sha'ban the most? This was a question that was asked. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied, Allah azza wa jal records the name of every person who will die this year and I like to be in the state of fasting at the time of my demise. Sayyidina Abdullah bin Abi Qais radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that he heard Sayyidatuna Aisha Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha say Shaiban was the favorite month of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would fast during this month and then join it with Ramadan. Sayyidina Usama bin Zayd radiallahu ta'ala anhu has stated, I asked the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, I have seen you keep fast in the month of Sha'ban so abundantly that I have never seen you keep fast so abundantly. In any other month, the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, This month is between Rajab and Ramadan. People are heedless of it. It is the month in which people's deeds are presented before Allah Azza wa Jal. I wish that my deeds be presented at the time when I am in the state of fast. So inshallah, when we come closer to the 14th and 15th of Shaiban, Shabir Barad, we will be fasting on the 14 as well as the 15. So in the new book will open and you'll be fasting inshallah on 15. And your book of deeds will start from fasting inshallah. So try to make the intention to fast when we approach the month, uh, when we approach the date of 14 and 15 in the Islamic calendar. Moving forward, Sayyidatuna Aisha Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha has narrated that the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would keep more fast in Sha'ban than in any other month. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would keep fast throughout Sha'ban and say, act according to your strength because Allah azza wa jal does not prevent his bounties until you get tired. Indeed, the most pleasing nafal, salah to Allah azza wa jal is the one that is offered steadfastly, though in less amount. So whenever he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam offered any nafal salah, he used to do, he used to offer steadfastly. And this is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari. Hajatul Islam, Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Ghazali rahmallahu ta'ala alayhi has stated in the previous sacred hadith, fasting for the whole of Sha'ban, means fasting for the most days of this month. There is nothing wrong with fasting all the days as well. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, 
Many Islami brothers and sisters of Dawati Islami fast continuously for three months, Rajab, Sha'ban, and Ramadan, in order to develop the habit of fasting and acting upon the Sunnah. Please join the Madri environment of Dawati Islami. A Madri blessing is presented to encourage you, inshaAllah Azza wa Jal. An Islami brother of Babul Madina, Karachi, gave the following account. Unfortunately, I spent my past life in sins. I used to fly kites and play computer games. I would stick my nose in everybody's business, argue with people unnecessarily, and start fights with, without any reasons. Luckily, I performed itikaf for the last 10 days of Ramadan in my local masjid as a result of the individual effort of an, of an Islamic brother. I saw some extremely pleasant dreams and I felt immense peace in my heart. I was blessed with performing itikaf for another two years, making individual effort. Once the muazzin of the masjid convinced me to attend the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima of Dawud islami in its global Madini Markaz, Fazani Madina. When he reached Fazani Madina, a Mubalik was delivering a speech. He was dressed in white clothes with a brown shawl over his shoulders and a green turban on his head. He also had a fist length of beard on his face. I had never seen such a refugium face before. The attraction and the refugiums of this Mubalik's face captured my heart and hence I joined the Madri environment of Dawud Islami. For the past two years, I have been performing itikaf in the global Madri Markaz Fazani Madina, Babul Madina Karachi. Alhamdulillah, I have also grown my beard according to the Sunnah. So my dear Islam brothers, also try to make this intention. Inshallah, when the month of Ramadan approaches, and the last 10 days, Alhamdulillah, we have all year round, in the month of Ramadan, brothers are performing itikaf here. And Alhamdulillah, we have Madani Halkas where they get to learn knowledge of Islam, they get to rectify the Tajweed of Quran, they also get to rectify the Wudu and Ghusl and the recitation of the glorious Quran. Try to make the intention at least to cover 10 days. If you can't do 10 days, you can do the last 3 days. Or try to give much time as possible to keep coming towards the Masjid, inshallah, and join these Madani Halkas, you will learn. Something, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, even if you spare 15 minutes, half an hour, Alhamdulillah, when I used to go to Bradford to study, and I used to, it used to be quite difficult for me. But look at the hostla that my Ustad gave. Keep coming. Don't give up. Obviously, Shaitan will stop you. Even though, whether it was for one or two hours, I gained something. Alhamdulillah. And you as well will gain something as well, inshaAllah. So moving further, Sallu alal Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has stated, someone asked the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam as to which fast is the best after Ramadan. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, the fast of Sha'ban for honoring Ramadan. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was further asked what is the best charity? And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied to give charity in the month of Ramadan. Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anhu anha <coughs> has reported that the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said Allah azza wa jal reveals his specific attributes on the 15th night he Azza wa Jal forgives those who ask for forgiveness and he and showers mercy upon those who ask for mercy, but leaves those who had malice in their hearts for each other. Sayyidina Mu'az bin Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu has reported that the Prophet of Rahma, the intercessor of Ummah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has said, on the 15th night, Allah Azza wa Jal reveals his specific attributes to the whole of creation and forgives everyone except the unbelievers and those who have malice in their heart for another Muslim. So dear Islamic brothers, 
any two Muslims that have enmity against each other due to any worldly matter should apologize to each other before the arrival of Shabay Barat so that they aren't deprived of the mercy of Allah Alhamdulillah motivated by these hadith by the leader Allah Hadrat Rahmullah Ta'ala Ali has established a custom in the Madri Tul Murshid Braili inspiring the Muslims to apologize to each other prior to the arrival of Shabay Barat. It is the Madri request that all Islam brothers should do this and Islamic sisters should also seek forgiveness from each other by phone, etc. Sallu al Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala Ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear Islam brothers, inshallah, next week on Thursday uh, will be the 15th night of Shabi Barat. It is a Madri request that you come, inshallah. We will go to the cemetery uh, and uh, a gathering there, inshallah. Then after that, inshallah, we'll come back to Fazani Medina. There'll be six nuafil that we'll, pe we'll perform. And if the later part of the night, if you want to do Salat al Tasbih, inshallah, uh, we will perform Salat al Tasbih as well. So inshallah, do tell everybody, invite everybody to come along inshallah next Thursday, 17th. And inshallah, my Ustad from Bradford, he will be coming to deliver a bian on this night as well inshallah. Sallu al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi.